All right, I got a good one for y'all today. It is Who's the Worst Family Channel in YouTube History by good old Sonny V2 here. Make sure to go check him out. He makes some amazing videos. I love reacting to them. Also, make sure to like and subscribe to this channel. That way you do not miss a video. Let's get on into it. Just a reminder, I do uh, go live on Twitch Monday through Friday, 11 p.m. to 1 a.m., reacting to videos, playing games, having a good time. Let's get on into it. These are the five worst family channels in YouTube history. Ooh, and coming in at number five is the Prince family, who would quite literally give up their own children for a couple extra. What? What? Give giving Kyrie up for adoption. Heartbreak. Oh yeah, they look real sad. Seriously? Reviews. The parents Bianca and Damien gain an audience by peddling the most atrocious clickbait you might ever witness. Oh, Take for yeah. example this video titled Pray for the Prince Family House Firefighters Pulled Up with a thumbnail implying what? that the house had caught on fire. Oh, in all goodness. actuality their house related emergency was a leaking pipe in the backyard which was fixed not with a firefighting crew but rather by turning the tap off. In a different what? video they'd clickbait my car got repoed we're going broke although after clicking on the video you'll find that the car was simply being taken to a mechanic mechanic as a result of a flat battery on top of this they've literally okay so those are like the worst channels ever it's the hey let's see how many clicks we can get because that's what makes us famous that is so scummy honestly actually uploaded more than 10 extremely serious videos stating that they're breaking up without ever actually doing so but even then this is nothing compared to how they use their children and pregnancies to get extra clicks yeah, the scummiest example is this video titled no heartbeat with a thumbnail of a pregnant bianca going into an ambulance implying uh -oh. that perhaps their baby had died when you watch the video however it's explained that bianca simply had a bladder infection which moved the position of the baby in her womb what fight her heartbeat at first because she moved so much the baby Baby keeps moving then in this video titled okay, we got into a car right. accident at 32 weeks pregnant she freaked out the prince family implied that they'd crashed the lambo and put their unborn baby in danger when okay. in all reality they'd simply gotten a couple of scratches at the rear of the vehicle although so they take serious situations that happen to people and kind of make a youtube video out of it where nothing happens it's like they're mocking vic actual victims that is just wrong ladies and gentlemen It'd be when the baby was born that they'd become even scummier, beginning with Bianca implying that she wasn't happy with the baby's physical appearance just moments after giving birth. It's a newborn She's baby. They all look like little aliens. She's gonna have pretty eyes. Bright blue eyes. She do got pretty eyes. She's gonna have brown eyes. Her yeah. ears. Yeah, Look at her. her eyes but she's beautiful. Beautiful. Imagine being one hour old and your parents are obsessing over your skin slash eye color. Exactly. The nurse had to remind them that she's a beautiful baby. If you mix this in with more clickbait about Damien not being the father, it's no surprise that they'd state CPS almost took our kids from us. Although this video was also clickbait, as they'd spend the entire 36 minutes doing a mukbang without ever addressing the title. While it's hard to really? call their content noble, the Prince family haven't really hurt anyone with their untruthful no. videos. Although the same kind No, but again, like I was saying, there are people that actually go through the things that their titles suggest, and it, it's kind of making fun of those people in a scummy way. You know what I mean? Like, it's like, really, guys? That is horrible, and I can guarantee you they're still doing it today. That, that's just sad. This guy looks like a gangster Adam Sandler be said for the royalty family. The household consisting of Mother Andrea, Father Ali, and their son Faran employ much of the same tactics as the Prince family, although with the added bonus of extremely fake videos, often made with the purpose of justifying poor choices. For example, in mid-2019, uh -oh. they'd upload a video titled, Why is this happening to our family, the truth? In which they'd fake a scenario where fans were showing up at their house. Hey bro, why are you taking pictures of my house? I'm a fan. Hey bro, why are you taking pictures of my house? I love the show, bro. You think that's cool, bro? So they could then announce in the very next video that they were buying a mansion. What? Once in their mansion, they'd stage another video where a homeless person had broken into their back house, leading Ali to become the hero by giving the homeless guy money. I don't want him to stay on the streets. Can't be selfish. Uh, I'm gonna give you some cash, but I'm gonna need you to leave, all right? Only four months later, their back house was actually broken into by a real intruder, leading them to show their true oh colors by giving a totally different response. Okay. Hey, serious, bro? Going to people's homes and sleeping in the back? Hey, serious, call the cops. With these videos all... Oh my god, are you serious? So, it's obvious which videos are staged and which videos aren't. And that is... Oh my god. That... Two-faced motherfuckers, man. Two-face.
also hinting at their next major problem, extreme materialism. Uh -oh. Their channel achieved most of its growth through videos spoiling their son beyond belief. For example, eight-year-old takes parents' credit card no budget at mall, throwing a dart on a map and buying whatever it lands on, and if you guess the price, I'll buy it for you challenge, in which they spend up to $1,000 on brand name clothing oh for their child, God. just so they can make a viral video. Although their fake videos and materialism are pretty minor when compared to their sketchy family history. Yeah, that kid is not growing up in a good household. I hate to say it. It's one of those, like, things this family's doing for attention and views, and they're not telling their son no. You know what I mean? And when he grows up, it's going to bite him in the ass. But then again, it might not, because this family seems to be really rich now, and this kid will probably grow up rich too, so there's really not going to be any repercussions for him, sadly. Maybe a drug addiction. Who knows? In March 2021, the royalty family uploaded a video titled I'm Not Faran's Father, Truth Revealed, what? in which the dad Ali explained that he was actually Faran's stepdad. I'm not his biological dad, but I consider myself as his dad. I love him to death. He's like Okay, let's play Maury here. It's obvious that you are not this kid's dad. I mean, other than the ears, and I guess, yeah, maybe the nose. You sure you're not this, and the lips? Are you sure you're not this kid's dad? Because this kid looks like you, man. <laughs> Like, if this woman took you to Maury, there is, I would bet money that you were his kid. That is, that's unbelievable, honestly. Y you know what I mean, not your kid, but that's your kid, obviously. It looks like him. Like my son, I treat him like my son. At around the same point in time, Ferran's biological father came forward to state that he'd been locked out of his son's life for over four years, oh which God. was followed by him appearing on the Dad Challenge podcast, where he'd completely exposed the family. Oh, he'd state yeah. that the mother, Andrea, that, that, was a former adult like film star who fled to the USA after getting into trouble with a group of drug dealers in South America. After she and the oh, biological shit. dad moved to the USA, she cancelled the biological dad's visa, forcing him to return to South America, then began cheating on the biological dad with Ali after the two met in a gym. The son Faran has no idea that any of this even happened as he's completely forbidden from going on the internet. Faran is oh completely God. and utterly never allowed on the internet. Ali blocks him from every incoming anything. He's not allowed to have a phone with the internet on it. And therefore the parents simply tell Faran that the biological dad is crazy. Although if you take this, add some scams, poor financial decisions and a severe case of bankruptcy, you'll likely end up with the Ace family. Similar to the the royalty family the ace fa so that that past family yeah they're spoiling their kid and everything and i guess it's not as bad as the first family but when that kid finds out about finds out about his real dad and how that real dad really wants to be in his life he's not going to be the same like that is just insane and horrible family gained close to 20 million subscribers by throwing nice. money around in pursuit of the perfect family image. It oh. began with the husband, Austin, purchasing a Jeep for his wife, Catherine's birthday, although within only 18 months of doing so, this had escalated into buying Lamborghinis and flexing their mansion. Throughout Jesus. the process, they were exposed for renting despite having claimed they bought the property, although it'd be when they did actually buy their own mansion. Isn't it nice to go on YouTube, a poor person like ourselves, and watch these people flaunt their money with mansions nice cars while i can barely afford to eat and have to eat ramen <laughs> yeah must be nice that their channel completely fell apart. The Ace family essentially found two separate houses, ripped out the insides and combined them together, creating what? a 12-bedroom, 13-bathroom mega mansion. It cost them over $10 million to buy the property Holy in shit. an area where very few sold for more than $2 million, made worse when it was shown off. that they'd financed the entire purchase. The McBrooms took out a hard money loan of $8.85 million from Five Arch Funding Corp and another $1 million loan oh from TMK God. Development LLC, who I'm assuming is also a hard money lender. Hard money loans are expensive loans used by house flippers that almost always have a one-year payback term. They're considered expensive because the borrower typically pays multiple points at closing and an interest rate of 10 to 12 percent on an oh, interest-only loan. To pay off their loans, Austin hosted a boxing event called Social Gloves, which he estimated would make between 200 and 500 million dollars. Instead, it sold right, only 136,000 right. pay-per-view subscriptions at between 50 and 90 dollars each, meaning that at an absolute maximum, the event made no more than 12 million dollars or 17 times less than the estimated figure for this reason austin was unable to pay any of the fighters made worse when he was sued by the events organizer for a hundred million dollars this would then accompany 11 other lawsuits relating to previous rental properties and Catherine's makeup line doing so much damage to their finances they could no longer afford their mortgage in mid 2021 they can no longer afford their mortgage and the woman left the guy the ace family hasn't been the same 
Yep. I guess Ace is not the place. One, it was announced that their mega mansion was going into foreclosure, after which they'd upload a video titled Our House Story, in which they'd spend over an hour blaming the developer for building the house incorrectly oh, really? before stating this. And we're probably gonna get like five more houses in the next 10 years. Like, oh my God. We'll, we'll, we're gonna invest, we're gonna get more homes and more homes and more homes. However, the Why? Ace family have made no such comeback as things have only gotten worse. When we covered the Ace family back in November, 2021, their channel was still doing 10 million views per month. Ooh. However, this number has since dropped to less than 2 million as a result Dang. of an almost non-existent upload schedule. The Ace Family tried to redeem themselves by hosting a festival called Ace Fest, which attendees called Underwhelming, before they'd announce a car giveaway, which was then debunked as a scam by Atozi in this video. The current state the of the Ace under. Family is best summarized by the dislike ratio on their most recent video, mm. although even then they yeah. still look perfect in comparison. Yeah, the Ace Family's gone down the toilet, ladies and gentlemen. I'm... Sorry, if you're fans of the Ace family, they're they're bye bye. I'm I'm sorry. Move on to the next great family that flaunts their money in irresponsible ways. Comparison to Daddy O Five. This game, you're not ready. The family began on YouTube by playing fairly innocent pranks on each other. However, as okay. time progressed, the parents seemed to realize that the more extreme the prank, the more views they'd get. Uh -oh. With this in mind, the parents began to fish for increasingly severe reactions. Get her as mad as you could possibly get her. I'll end it, but let's see how mad you can get her. While realizing that not every kid in the family was worth pranking equally. Emma cannot be pranked when we do prank her. She has like no reaction to it. While they couldn't get a reaction out of Emma, Cody was the exact opposite and would always give a highly emotional response in every single video. Cody's the real For this MVP. reason, he was heavily picked on by the parents, which oh. would peak with a now infamous video titled The Invisible Ink Prank, where the parents basically accuse Cody of something he didn't do, then yell at him until he's crying in the corner. With comments such no. as, these people are just sick and evil, nothing but a bunch of sadists. They severely traumatize the children. I'm so scared for all those kids. It's it's no surprise that the parents then tried to convince the audience that the prank had been set up. I don't care anymore. Videos are fake. They're fake. They're over-exaggerated. Some videos are scripted. Some videos, I mean, they're just played out. However, just a few really? days prior, the parents had said something different to Keemstar. Are these videos 100% real? Right. The, the videos were not fake, but some things are a little exaggerated. After which the family removed every single video from their channel, excluding a formal apology in a desperate bid to win back their audience. Uh -oh. This has been the absolute worst week of our life and we realize that we have made some terrible parenting decisions. But with comment after yeah, comment really along the be, lines of um, worst week of our parents. life, yeah you gave them damage for their whole lives. You're disgusting. Amen. It seemed their viewers were done watching and the audience wasn't the only thing that the family was set to lose. Holy shit they lost custody of their kids because of this? There is a god out there somewhere holy jesus let's let's just praise the god that helped them kids oh my god thank you cody and his 11 year old sister emma were both removed from the home and at least temporarily placed with their biological mother rose hall emma and cody are with me Oh, I so have that wasn't even the real custody. mom. As mentioned, Cody and Emma were both taken and returned to their biological mother, after which an article was posted reading, Controversial Daddy 05 YouTubers sentenced to probation for prank videos with their kids. Oh, it explained no. that each of the parents had been charged with two counts of neglecting a minor, after which YouTube made the choice to permanently delete Daddy 05's channel. Good. With nowhere else to go, the family began posting videos to their own website behind a $5 paywall, although they'd soon discontinue the practice My with the message God. in order to move on with the healing process from the 2017 events, we have agreed willingly to remove our videos from even this site. For the sake and well-being of our family, Mike and I feel it is best that we take a long break from the public spotlight. Yeah, they returned to YouTube idea. in 2019 with a new channel called The Martin Family. Although with an average dislike ratio of around 75%, it seems their social media future is as dead as fried chicken. Even then, Daddy05 is lucky to have a life outside of prison as the exactly. 8 Passengers Family channel recently landed its founder behind bars. Uh -oh. Eight Passengers right. was created by Ruby and Kevin Frankie back in early 2015, okay. where they began to share videos of their unique life as a Mormon family of eight. They post Holy videos shit. doing everything. I don't care who you are. I don't know how people have like more than two kids. I have one kid and she's a handful, but five, I'm sorry, five kids. Hell no. Hell no.
from sports to parties. However, the audience quickly noticed that whenever the kids did anything wrong, uh, the parents always gave an unreasonable level of punishment. For example, uh -huh. when a six-year-old daughter failed to make her own lunch before school, the mother punished the daughter by refusing to bring her food, despite being asked by the teacher. I responded and just said, Eve is responsible for making her lunches in the morning, so the natural what? outcome is she's just going to need to be hungry. Hopefully, nobody gives her food and nobody steps in what? and gives her a lunch. Latest yeah, that woman does not deserve to be a mother. That is your six-year-old daughter. You are the adult. You need to make the food for her. You serious? I'm glad you went to jail. At least I hope it was you who went to jail. Updating in a different video, my kids are literally starving. I hesitate to say this because this is going to sound like I'm a mean barbarian, but you I told are. the kids, I said, I'm not even going to let you eat breakfast until you get your chores done. Really? When these punishments failed to achieve the parents' desired outcome, they'd up the ante by refusing presents to their two youngest kids on Christmas. This year, they are not going to be visited by Santa. Christmas what? morning, their four older siblings will be getting Christmas presents to open and that they will have the gift of love from their dad and I because we want them to really have a visceral experience that hits them. Which was in addition to their oldest son sleeping oh on a beanbag for seven months as punishment for playing one single prank. I've this woman and father have a special spot in hell lined up for them, ladies and gentlemen. That is insane. Like, oh my god. Bedroom was taken away for seven months and then you give it back like a couple weeks ago. And look at it, she's smiling. <laughs> Noticing a pattern of overly strict parenting, a change.org petition was launched reading, get eight passengers Ruby Frankie under investigation for child yes. abuse, after which multiple videos were published documenting the family's controversial history. As a result, their viewership evaporated by over 90%. And by 2023, the channel was struggling to gain a million views per month. Ruby had also grown tired of being criticized by the public, making the choice to permanently delete the channel on the 2nd of August 2023. Good, good. However, this wouldn't be the end of the eight passengers saga. The oldest daughter, Cherie, had always been outspoken about her family's parenting style and would post this image to her Instagram story, showing police and the caption, finally, only four weeks after the channel was deleted. Good. It was then revealed that the mother had been arrested for aggravated child abuse after the 12-year-old son had been found emaciated and malnourished with open wounds and duct tape around the extremities. Oh the condition God. of the juvenile was so severe that they were seen by Santa Clara Ivan's EMS and transported to a local area hospital. Ruby Frankie is currently being held in jail awaiting trial. And she should get life in prison, ladies and gentlemen. Hell, maybe even the death penalty because children are innocent, okay? They are here, they are pure, and stuff like that should not happen to them. That woman, life in prison, no parole because of child abuse and possibly the death penalty. What do you think? Are these the worst family channels on YouTube? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you all so much for supporting the channel. Y'all take it easy, and I'll catch you around next time.